Hi, I'm Bill the Piano Tuner. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be working on a Sterling Baby Grand. We have two issues I've identified. One is a sticking key and also that knocking sound, which is a loose hammer rest rail. To repair these problems, we have to remove the action. The first thing we have to do is remove several parts. This is the fall board. It falls, that's why it's called the fall board and it covers the keys. These two blocks on either end of the keys are the cheek blocks. And this strip of wood is called the key slip. The first thing we have to remove is the key slip. On most Steinway pianos, the key slip is routed and slides on two flat-headed screws screwed into the front of the key block. The way you remove it is to just press up on it and it should slide right off. But on most pianos, the key slip is held on by three to five screws that go through the key bed and are screwed into the bottom of the key slip. Now the fall board is attached many different ways. On this piano, if you take a look, the fall board has a pin that slides into a little groove. Loosen these screws, not all the way, far enough so that you can lift the fall board out of the slot. And when you get it loosened up enough, the fall board comes right out. Now, a few things about the fall board. On a Steinway piano, the fall board is attached to the cheek blocks. Cheek blocks are held on by several ways. So most of the time, there's a big screw that goes through the key bed and screwed into the key block. If you look up here, the screw is set in the back of the block like that. And there's a pin that holds the block in place. Next time, we'll discuss removing the action of the piano. And until then, I'm off to two pianos where I'll be perfecting each note one key at a time.